little stuff like that goes a long way. People appreciate it, man. The dude said, thank you for bringing me a car. All right. We're good now. We're good. Let's head to Miss Angela. I'm at Walmart and they ain't got no workers putting carts back. So it's a couple women in there looking for carts. So I'm gonna push three in. Just being a good person. Once again, guys, this is the little things you can do to help people out. So we got one. We got these two over here. Oh, this gonna take much out of y'all day to do something like this? This ain't, ain't that crazy, huh? I don't know if those women are still there, but it should be more people coming inside Walmart that can use one of these. Let's see. I used to work for Winn-Dixie. Let's see if I can still do this. Oh, that boy still got it. Oh, he still got it. They can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I ain't trying to work for Walmart now. All right, somebody get a cart. Look at this, man, y'all. I can't work for y'all now. But if somebody need a cart, there they go. It's two at least. No problem, man. <laughs> hey, you go ahead and take one. That's what I brought it in for. There we go. A little stuff like that goes a long way. People appreciate it, man. The dude said, thank you for bringing me a car. Now we need to find, we need to find Ronnie a fruit bowl. That's what we came here for. I don't know where they fruit bowls are, but we gonna have to find them. Alright guys, so this is going to be a pre-game for the Sunday night premiere. I'm not going to do this every Sunday, but if there's yards that I just clean up and they don't take long, I'm going to just do some content to throw out there for you guys, alright? So today, I'm releasing this video early Sunday for you guys to enjoy until the premiere tonight. So as I told y'all, I pick and choose the people that I help throughout the town and I actually maintain their yard. So I have two people on the list so far. I have Ronnie, and we're at Ronnie's house now, and I have Miss Angelique, and she lives further into Fort Pierce. I cut her yard two videos ago, and I told her that I would maintain her yard from her from here on out. So I'm keeping my promise as I told y'all, and I'm gonna take y'all behind the scenes with me today as I just maintain these yards for my elders, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're not gonna really set up the camera at too many angles. We're gonna go ahead and just clean up Ronnie's yard for him to get the grass down. Um, I'm a little bit late coming here because my birthday, I went out of town, so I was not here on the 4th when I was supposed to cut his yard. So it's a little bit high. We're gonna go ahead and maintain it for him, get it cleaned up. I brought Ronnie some lunch. Miss Pam says he hasn't been feeling too good lately, so I brought him some fresh fruit some crackers and some ham a little platter type deal so we're going to make sure we give that to him before we leave for lunch and we're going to head to miss angelique's and clean up her yard so let's get right into it no more talking straight to action all right
that I'm the one maintaining it because um, his yard has come a long way since the first time I came and done it, y'all. So it looks like the little bit of work I'm doing here, once or twice a month, is making a difference because, man, it's literally stripes starting to pop in around his yard. That's crazy. So um, I feel really good about keeping his yard maintained. It just looks really good right now. So the only thing I need to do now is blow off some of this dirt from his front steps and around the garage and then we'll go ahead and, and deliver this lunch and this fruit to Ronnie and hopefully it'll make him feel better all right and we'll go ahead and give Pam her hibiscus plant if you saw me at Home Depot that's why I was there last time I talked to Miss Pam was around Earth Day and I was supposed to come here and plant a hibiscus right here for Earth Day but I got caught up and real busy so today is the day I'm going to drop it off she doesn't know exactly where she wants the hibiscus plant, so I'm not going to plant it for her. I'm just going to bring it and let her plant herself, all right? So let's blow this off, give Runny some food, drop off Miss Pam's hibiscus, and head to Miss Angelique's. Says Ronnie Hampson's the door. It's past my lunch time, so since I got Ronnie something to eat, I got me something too. Mmm. Just hit one. There he is. There he is. I said, let me wait for a little bit. I know he'll come to the door. Tell Miss Pam I got her a hibiscus, okay? okay? I'm gonna put it right there so it's not in the sun. She said she wanted to plant it right here. She gonna put some plants around it. Yeah. I brought this for you. I don't know if you ate lunch yet, but I'm eating me some fruit right now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, there's some fruit in there, like a fruit bowl with apples and cantaloupe and stuff. And then it's like a platter of uh, ham and crackers and cheese and stuff. How you been feeling? You okay? I don't feel like I'm coming down with cold now. Oh, really? It's just one thing after another, huh? Well, Pam had it. Oh, Pam had it. Yeah, she told me she had. She was a little sick. She been uh, getting over it. I just took some Zycam. Oh, man. Zycam. Yeah. yeah. You get to when it first starts and you kick it. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get it. It got food, okay? Okay, um, y'all looking good now. Hell yeah. Your grass is starting to grow in. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it, it's, it's really, like, it's almost stripes out here. I'm like, whoa, I'm laying stripes on your Ronnie's yard. <laughs> so, I'll be back in a few weeks. Um, if you need me, just let me know, okay? What's, what size shirt do you wear? Because I'm going to make you a shirt. <laughs> you, you, you wear size large? Or uh, medium or large? Medium, I Real? Okay. I'm going to bring you by a shirt in a couple weeks, okay? Okay. Okay, be safe, okay? Yeah, I'll talk. Okay. If she, if it's different, have her text me, okay? Okay. Okay, have a good day, Ronnie. Too, Make sure you let her know the hot business right there, okay? Okay. okay. Oh. Hi. Okay. <laughs> We're good now. We're good. Let's head to Miss Angelique's. All right, guys. So we're at Miss Angelique's. We made it here. Look like the grass is growing back already. I'm telling you guys. I don't know how your state is, but Florida State. Shout out to my Seminoles. <laughs> But Florida State, we don't play when it comes to grass. Like literally, I was just here, what, two weeks ago? And the grass is already knee high. Some of the grass already, that's crazy. But we get a lot of people, a lot of subscribers out there ask us 
what do we do with the pile of debris when we clean it up out of people's yards? You put it in our appropriate place in the yard. Usually it's on the side of the house or in the front of the house near where you put your trash for pickup. And there's a debris pickup, city pickup, once a week. So if you look over here, there actually was a huge pile over here when I finished her yard. You guys remember that. I had somebody in the comments ask me on that specific video, what did I do with that debris that I had in that pile? I put it there and that was the appropriate place for the debris pickup guys to come pick it up. So you call your city if you're wondering where to put debris at and you have a whole lot of it from your yard once you clean it up or anybody's yard you're cleaning up, call the city and ask them to get in touch with the trash removal department or whatever you would call it, I'm not too sure. And um, you speak with them and I'm pretty sure you can give them your home address and let them know where the debris is located and they'll come pick it up. They won't come pick it up immediately, but they come at least once a week to pick up trash debris. So there you go, there's your answer everybody. If you were wondering where we put debris at, we put it in the appropriate area. It's usually in the front of the house or on the side of the house. And the debris removal comes to pick up the debris once a week. Call your city. I'm not sure where your appropriate area is for debris around your home. Call your city and ask them where you need to place the debris at. And also ask them what day do they come pick up the debris so that you don't have it out for long periods of time, okay? All right, let's get right to work.
<laughs> I love dogs. It's okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful dog too. Look at that coat on this dog. Where do you feed this dog? I know. I'm just green. Man, look yeah. at that. Beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Her. No problem, man. Um, I tried doing some things, but it's a like, lot. It's a lot. Yeah, man. and it's just uh, not any of. She has the lawnmower. Doesn't even have a shoot for it. Right. You know? yeah. And there's so much leaves in this yard. That's the thing. But the cool thing I like about working here is the shade. Right. Exactly. <laughs> At least there's yeah. a lot of shade. And I told her when, um, because I have a YouTube channel, I and know. I do yard so transformations. And yeah. I came. I said, Hey, I'm gonna help you out. And then she said, Well, you know anybody I can hire to maintain it? I said, I can help you with the grass, right. but there's so many trees. There's a lot of tree work that needs to be done. Yeah. And Tom, if I you know continue to get equipment, I might just do the trees for it too if I get enough yeah. equipment. When I talked to him, he said, I would like to have a little grow box in the back where I can grow stuff and That's give it to people. That's what she's telling me too, and my brother just built some. I That's wanted to do it for Earth. Earth Day, but it was like Earth Day was like, I forgot it was last week, and right. then like, as soon as I found out, it was like two days later, I was like, oh. I want to do a grow box for, yeah, for Earth Day, that's but so cool. I'll do it in the next uh, week or two. Really? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll probably do it. Um, Aramis? Yes, ma'am. A-R-A-M-I-S. I'm just A-M-I-S. All right, A -M -I, I got you. But I really want to get to the point where I can say, like, come help somebody out like her and then pay for her to have her lawn maintained for a whole year. Oh, you wow. You know what I mean? Oh God, and then or take people yeah. to get groceries or just so think, because cool. during this pandemic, it's a, it's a hard time. Oh, man, I know. That's what, like, the cleaning thing, everyone yeah. was terrified. You have, like, elderly people and people going through chemo that, that don't yeah. even have the money to do it. So, yeah. that's not a couple fair. days a week. And it, oh, 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 yeah, she is. Right there. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too, man. Thank you again.